All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. We're going to do a quick story time reading. How this works is you pick a number one through six. We'll spin the wheel and whatever number it lands on, that's the box we're going to use to tell the story. Okay, guys, so pick your number one through six. Before we jump into this, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, sending me good energy only means you're going to get good energy back. All right, guys, so pick your number one through six, and let's see which number... It lands on box number six all the way at the bottom okay box number six at the bottom a good company to work for okay good company to work for at the bottom wants to come out for the person or persons <laughs> who chose box number six. Okay, I am not taking all of these cards, so I'm putting them back. <laughs> Dropping all kinds of cards. Maybe I'm just clumsy, I don't know. So let's see what wants to come out. First card we have, or we have two. Helpless, powerless, hopeless, gunshot. Take action right there, take action. Someone was feeling helpless, powerless, or hopeless. Put the money bag at the bottom. A new job, men in the mirror, respected. If you leave, I lose. Someone was feeling helpless or powerless or hopeless. At one point, they they could have been very well respected, but they were taking a look in the mirror at the things that they've done to get this respect. This person could have left a job, if you leave, leave I lose, romantic. <clears throat> Let's look into this real quick. There could have been <clears throat> some conflict about some starting a new job or leaving a job. Could have been family. How are we gonna make money? How are we gonna make money? Something like that. Again, this person was well respected at one point, but they couldn't continue to look at themselves and feel like they were worthy of respect. Yeah, this person had to look in the mirror about um, some really devilish acts that were taking place. This person wanted to restore balance to the situation. This is the person who felt Helpless, powerless, or hopeless, you know, having to look in the mirror. 
um, maybe they felt like oh wow um, some deception that was going on in the workplace that's why this person wanted to to get a, quit this job get a new job they could have been lying on this person deceiving people about work that was done because they were kind of looking at themselves and uh, trying to make something right truth there was some sneakiness going going on some conniving manipulative stuff going on and um, this person I guess they felt like they couldn't continue keeping up this or, or being involved in whatever was going on what's gunshot There's a group that's worried. But there's someone who has clarity speaking truth. That this person no wanted no longer wanted to be controlled. They no longer wanted to get on this hamster wheel. They wanted to end whatever cycle was going on. Put it, <coughs> put an end to this. <coughs> this could have been a whistleblower. Gunshot. He shot himself. You know who this? This is. This is um, John. Is it Burnett? The Boeing, the former Boeing employee that is whistleblowing on. Um, their their the company's uh, practices when or their lack of safety precautions or practices. Um, he could have even been having some some issues in there in his uh, love life. So this emperor who's looking at himself in the mirror, who at one point um, <clears throat> had a lot of respect because of the work that he did, when he chose to leave this company and start a new job, like his former employee uh, employer or some kind of institution slowed his money down because of something that he said. Something that um, happened, things that happened around the world because as a result of this company's um, carelessness. So when he left, they, they slowed his money down. You're not gonna work <laughs> in this, uh, industry ever again we're gonna bad mouth you slander you and their partner was like well if you keep this up they're just gonna keep fucking up our money or something like that and he's like i can't do this without some kind of support and this person's like i don't care i'm leaving because you won't shut up and i don't This person left and this, he felt hopeless. Jeez. Okay. Two of Swords. He, he didn't know, see it any other way, you know? 
if you're going to go up against like a big institution with a lot of money, a lot of power, a lot of influence and you have no support, it's going to it's going to be a very lonely battle. Um and he felt like okay, I don't know if he said what he needed to say. Then this his partner decides to leave him. He's like, well, I have nothing, nothing left. If there's a feminine energy who thinks they're going to get finances because of his death, um, Spirit wants you to know, or this person to know, that they're not going to get anything. Because you left, because you moved away, you left him in his, like, hour of need. getting really heavy energy like this could be uh, the dynamic of what was going on with uh, John Burnett I know there's a lot of conspiracy that are going to kind of go off because he was whistleblowing on, on Boeing so they had to have killed him <laughs> you know stuff like that but I uh, don't this is the second reading I've done. This one was not intended to be for him. Um, I already did a, a reading for this situation, and it's saying the same thing. So, yeah, guys. Well, that's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.